Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my Gore's trailer reaction for the new Steve Jobs movie called Steve Jobs. Alright, uh, it's better than Jobs or J-Obs, whatever the hell that last one was called. But this one, actually, this one looks really, really good. I haven't seen a trailer or any, anything really besides some promotional stills. But I, I'm just assuming it's going to be good because it, it has a director that is amazing, Danny Boyle. You have an amazing writer, Aaron Sorkin. And you have an amazing actor playing Steve Jobs, Michael Fassbender. Uh, which, uh, I was a little, I, I wasn't hesitant about picking him for Steve Jobs because of his acting. He's a great actor, but it was a little like, I don't know, like him as Steve Jobs, he doesn't really look like him. I, I don't know. But uh, let's find out if that's true here. I heard this is a very short trailer. It just pretty much shows Steve Jobs. That's pretty much it. I don't think it tells you much because the title of this trailer is Steve Jobs trailer reveals Michael Fassbender as Apple innovator. That's it. So I'm assuming you're not going to see much, but uh, hopefully we'll see how this is. Let's watch it. Universal. Hold on. Let me uh, go back. Let me turn it up a little bit. All right. Restarting the trailer. All right. If you want to watch it with me, three, two, one, and hit play. At 941, the planet's going to shift on its axis nine forever. Okay. Two most significant events in the 20th century. The Allies win the war, and this. You can't write code. You are not an engineer. What? Do you do? I see. There's the a musicians separate organs. play the instruments. I play the orchestra. I sat in a garage and invented the future. Because artists lead and banks ask for a show of hands. I love that you don't care how much money a person makes. You care what they make. But what you make isn't supposed to be the best part of you. You're the only one who sees the world the same way I do. Let's close in. I. No one sees the world the same way you do. Steve Jabs. Like a fast bender. Oh, okay, when's it? Seth Rogen. Jeff Daniels. Okay. There he is. Okay. October 9th. Nice. All right. That's it. <laughs> Just a little bit of dialogue, and then you get to see uh, Steve Jobs. Okay. He actually, you know, let me go back in. I want a screenshot of that. All right. Jeff Daniels. Uh. Hey, I mean, okay. He, he's playing an older Steve Jobs at this part. From what I've heard, I'm not sure if this is correct now, but I heard the script was supposed to be a three-act structure, which, you know, most movies do, um, where the first act is him in his beginning career, second is supposed to be him in the middle, and then the third is at the end of his career. And it's literally going to be, from what I've heard, like a, a good, like, maybe uh, 40 minutes in the beginning, then 40 minutes in... It's, it's going to be evenly distributed throughout the three acts. Uh, and that looks like it's going to be obviously closer to the end. Um, the little dialogue in the beginning, I couldn't tell who that was in the beginning beginning. Uh, right here, hold on. Let me play the voice again. I can't tell who that is. Um... It's not Jeff Daniels, it's not Seth Rogen, it's definitely not Kate Winslet. I can't tell who that is. It sounds like Jay Baruchel a little bit, who was in uh, stuff like This Is The End with Seth Rogen. Uh, it also sounds a little bit like Shia LaBeouf. I hope he's not it. Which, I mean, actually, I, I like him as an actor, but let me see who else is in this. I can't tell who that is. It might be Michael Stuhlberg. I'm looking at the cast list right now. Uh, John Ortiz, that's probably not him. <laughs> I, I'm going to say Michael Stuhlberg. That's probably the voice at the beginning. Ooh, Sarah Snook is in it. I really like her. She was in, uh, what the hell is that movie called? <laughs> Predestination. She was really good in that. But, um, alright. So I'm going to give this trailer, it was just a, I, I guess a teaser trailer. It's not called that, but I'm assuming it is. Another five months before it comes out, so. <sighs> Whew, tired. But, um, I think that's a, a good trailer. Um, I'm excited. Hopefully they don't make them look like, a complete dick like they did in Jobs, which was a huge mistake, especially casting Ashton Kutcher, a character, I mean a character, an actor we don't really like right now, as a complete dick. You're not going to really win over many uh, fa uh, uh, people that don't know Steve Jobs and who he was, <sighs> especially making him seem like a arrogant prick that didn't really do much. Uh, <laughs> that's probably not true in real story, but in the movie... 
uh, in that in that movie. Hopefully, this one will be good. Now, I'm gonna give this trailer. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It, it, it's it's good. It, it did what it's supposed to do, and I'm excited for the actual movie just because of the cast and who's directing it. The fuck? Uh, <laughs> I think an ad started playing on this website. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my review. Thank you and goodbye.